what is stable coin how do you identify a coin that is stable and how do you use them hello everyone welcome back to this video is Leonard here from datalender.com and in today's video we are going to talk about stable coins what they are the different types of stable coin how to identify them and how to make use of them um, well I had to make this video because a friend actually told me that he has some tether um, which is USDT and uh, according to his complaint this doesn't grow Bitcoin has been spiking up and then all, all, all other altcoins are following suit but this is just there for months for years now it doesn't grow and the rest and that is because it doesn't understand what that is and what it makes it a stable coin so that is what we are going to actually talk about in this video we'll look at the different types of stable coin and then we'll quickly look at um, some of the stable coins so that when you come across them you will know how best to use them um, to your own favor so the volatility nature of bitcoin is what makes it difficult to use and the same goes for ethereum for dot for ADA, and the rest of other currency aside the stable coin you know you can make um, a lot of investors who invested in bitcoin has made fortunes overnight and then within a space of weeks or thereabout they lost everything considering the volatile nature of um, bitcoin and every other um, cryptocurrency that people invest in um, so with this because of how difficult it is to actually use this and so to solve this problem a new type of token was created which is now the stable coin and there are a lot of them actually in the market right now and this video is meant to show you some of those and how uh, how best you can actually start using them so that you don't just carry money buy some stable coin and then expect it to grow because bitcoin is shooting up in price so stable coin as the name implies they are stable they don't grow and these are actually crypto tokens that have an exchange of one to one with a fiat currency they have an exchange rate of one to one with a fiat currency and most often the us dollar the us dollar is what is used to actually um, um equate this um the, the 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 stable coin like the usdt one usdt is equivalent to you us dollar and the essence of this is to make you save your funds for instance if i'm trading bitcoin um right now and i make some money in bitcoin considering the volatility nature of bitcoin i i, I can't just leave my money sitting down there in bitcoin because there's every tendency that because i've made ten thousand dollars today tomorrow bitcoin will you know go down to either eight thousand twelve thousand or whatever price it goes to and the value of what i had will equally go down with it so in order to keep your money safe at the end of the day you convert whatever you have from bitcoin ethereum whatever coin you have traded to a stable coin so when you convert it to a stable coin it is safer there even when bitcoin goes down to a thousand dollars you still have your ten thousand dollars um in your account and then if you decide to buy more bitcoin when it goes down you are equally in buying then when it increases you have more bitcoin in your account that is the reason you know for for stable coin with stable coins stable coin don't lose their value um they remain the same that is how why tether or my friend got confused with the tether there are actually um, different types of stable coins some are backed by commodities some are backed by currencies and so on so basically the next thing i want to do now is to list out some of these stable coins um, how you can you know when you uh, to add in order to help you identify them when you see them and number one is tether tether or otherwise known as usdt um this is the most popular and um it is like the default stable um, currency for any exchange that you are trading with you can always trade it against every other coin in the market um so one is tether and um, the ticker is usdt and the equivalent of this coin is one dollar one usdt to one dollar so you don't expect this to actually um grow uh, with your uh, bitcoin whenever it's growing and then the other one is dai a DAI that that is D A I and it is offered by the maker um, D A O. Um, it is a, the, the maker D A O is actually a decentralized independent organization and it is a complete decentralized stablecoin without any centralized issuing authority. So whenever you come across DAI, DAI is not like every other currency, so that you don't see it not growing with your Bitcoin. It is actually a stablecoin. 
All right, and the next on the list is the USDC, otherwise known as the USD coin. And this is um, actually identified as the official stable coin for Coinbase. Um, those of you who use this com Coinbase and the rest. Then we have the TUSD, TUSD, otherwise known as True USD. Um, the True USD is actually a collaboration. Uh, the team behind the T True USD is uh, we have Google, we have U UC Bigley, I think, and then we have Palanta and um, Stanford. These are the, uh, the, 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 the team behind. Um, this particular coin and it is equally a stable coin so the value of this is one true usd to one us dollar and then the next one is the dgx the digix gold it is it's equally a stable coin actually when you come across it don't think that the value will keep increasing when bitcoin is increasing as well and then the next one here is the eusd eusd otherwise known as uh, havens and nomin haven't nomin i guess i pronounced that well so that, that is an equally another stable coin and the next one here we have is a paxos paxos is equally a stable coin and um, they are in partnership with paypal actually uh, for those of you who uses paypal in the us and um, paxos they are partner with paypal and they are working together it is equally a stable coin then we have the binance coin b USD Binance coin. So the next one here is the Palladium coin, and the last on my list is the Gimini dollar. Gimini dollar, or you see that the ticker is actually GUSD, is the Gimini dollar. It is equally a stable coin. Some of these coins are not that popular. The ones you come across most of the time is um, um, Tether, which is USDT. We talk about Binance coin, we talk about uh, DAI, and then we talk about the the um, the one that is from Coinbase, the USD coin. So whenever you come across these coins, just have it at the back of your mind that they are stable coin, they are valued on increase, and they are were created to help you save your money whenever you make money in the, in the crypto market. So when you are trading, when your asset grow to a certain level and you want to sell it, if you are afraid that the price will continue to go down or it will go in the reversal way, all you just need to do is convert that particular asset, Bitcoin or whatever in this case it is, you convert it directly to your your stable coin and then that way you will save your money without losing anyone i hope this video is helpful if you are new to this channel consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you like this video give it a thumbs up that way you help a lot of um, other persons to see this video and you equally encourage me um, by letting me know that you actually like and consume my content so that is it for this video and i will see you in the next video